your fondest memory of working with uh, Lucio Fulci? When I came to Italy to work with him, it was, I met him at the set already. That day I was going to start working with him. And the first thing <laughs> that impressed me more is that they came and put my, the chair on his side. He said no in the back. He didn't want any actor to be at his same level. <laughs> so I said fine. So I got it. It was a very uh, physical movie in a way. So I said fine. So I, I sat in the back and we start working. He, in reality, he's, I would say he's one of the most creative directors I have worked with. And uh, we got along fine because I always, before every scene, I would come to him and ask him, how do you want this scene? What do you want from this scene? And uh, I would talk to him in Spanish. And he would talk to me in Italian. So, you know, it's very similar. So that was a good beginning. His English wasn't very good. So it was a good beginning, and I start picking up Italian, because it's for anybody who speaks Spanish or for Italians to speak uh, and vice versa. It's very easy to pick it up. It's very similar in a way. So we got along fine working together. And uh, we went to Sardinia to do the movie. You know, in Sardinia, uh, in winter, they closed all the hotels. It's everything closed. They left that hotel only for us, for the company, so we could work. They wanted the movie in winter. It's very windy there, and uh, the rocks are totally, because of the wind, they look different. They're, uh, they're very particular rocks over there, and that's exactly what he wanted. And through the whole movie, he had a sweater, a white sweater. And it was full of soup. <laughs> he never took it off. That sweater was through the whole movie full of soup. And another thing that caught my eye was I think he never, when he shaved, he never looked himself in the mirror because he left some lines when he shaved. And he left some lines, it was very funny. He had one sock one color and the other sock the other color. And during the movie, we really started making a friendship. Until one day, he asked me, Jorge, are you with me or not with me? And I said, what's that? And he had a problem with the producer. He wanted something, and the producer said it was very expensive. And he said, no, I want to do it. And uh, if you back me up, Jorge, I can get it. So I said, I'll back you up, because I want to do a good movie. So I back him up, and from there on, I had his, my chair on his side. <laughs> how, did, um, how did you get onto that film? How did you get uh, like, hired in the first place? <clears throat> I think they were looking for an actor who was physically. And uh, at the time, I was, you know, there wasn't so much like it is now. Right now, you get anybody physically. At the time, I was, I think, not, we weren't too many. I think so. Uh, I got chosen for the movie to do that particular movie, and I was very happy because I was going to go to Italy, I was going to go to Sardinia, and I was, you know, it's, it, was, it was fun. And uh, another thing that caught my eye when I got to Rome, they went to pick me up on a small little car, a Piccolino, they call them. Little, little car. We put the bags there with Holly Fit, and we Holly Fit the chauffeur and myself in the little car. And we were driving through Rome, and he said, the office is over there. It was a street, and the traffic was coming. So he got on the sidewalk, and zoom, we went on the sidewalk, and stopped right in front of the building where the company was. Against the, I mean, it's, in a way, it's very, very Latin to do this kind of stuff. Was actually shot in Sardinia? Was in Sardinia. Great part of the movie. I think we were there for a couple of weeks okay. or more. Huh. Doing shooting shooting the movie in Sardinia. Yeah. And the weather was cold and horrible and to but the scenery was real good for the movie. How um, the movie's got a really distinctive look. 
where it's really foggy and cloudy the whole movie. Do you know, uh, did they, they use fog machines, I'm guessing, but did they also do some sort of thing to the lens of the camera? Oh, yes, there were some parts where we were in Rome doing it. In the studios, and uh, they had, you know, of course, the machines, you know, that produce smoke and uh, the whole thing. And and great part of the movie, too, it was done in Rome and in the studio. Mm -hmm. but, how did, but how did they, um, the scene where you fall off the cliff and then dolphins, like, cut the, uh, cut you free by chewing on the rope that you're tied to? Um, did they, I'm assuming they used real dolphins for the wide shots, but. And they must use puppets for the. Cl I don't know. Do you remember how they were able to accomplish that? Oh yeah, they, they have a trained dolphins, like you know, they train them very well, and uh, they would put fish. Mm -hmm. the and they would they would come and do it, the whole thing, and it was very fantastic. I I really enjoyed working with him. Mm -hmm. And it w was the crew like a combination of Mexican, Spanish, and Italians? No, no, it, it was totally an Italian movie. The crew was Italian, everybody was Italian. I was the only foreigner, I guess, okay. in the movie. Yeah. And uh, well, Andrea Oghipinti, which he was my com counterpart, mm -hmm. he was totally Italian. As a matter of fact, his name is very funny because it's Andrea Oghipinti, which it means Andre Andrea Painted Eyes. It seemed to me like a name of uh, American Indian. Yes, yes, he does. <laughs> how did it, how was it like working with him? Did, did you guys get along well? You know? With Andrea Guipinti? Oh, fine, he's a great guy. Mm -hmm. I really enjoy working with him. Mm -hmm. I, I'm sorry I haven't seen him anymore. I have heard he's doing very well. But uh, I'm sorry, he's over there in Italy and I'm here. Mm -hmm. And, um, like, uh, well, was there any sort of... Uh, because you're kind of both the hero of the film in a way, you know, I mean, you you step in, but the movie sets him up at the very beginning, like he's going to be the hero. Yes, and he, and he, he changes. Off. Yeah. Or you take his power or something. You know? Yes. Um, I don't know, that's, that's pretty uh, rare in a film. I mean, did that is that part of what attracted you to the project or anything? Or? No, number one, I've heard of, of uh, Lucio Fucci. I've heard of him. I've heard of how famous he was in Italy. I, when I got the offer, I was really jumping because I said, sure, I would love to work with this guy. Number one, I was going to go to Rome. Number two, I was going to be in Sardinia and I was going to meet all these people. You know, you never know. You meet a lot of people and it's a chain and you finish this and you start another one and so on. Do you remember anything about the director of photography, Alejandro Ulloa? Ulloa. Alejandro Ulloa, he, he's Spanish. It was, uh, he, was, he was really good. The guy, I worked with him after. I made Fist Fighter with him, and I made another movie with him. I made, I made three movies with Alejandro Ulloa. He was always an excellent cinematographer. How was uh, Lucio Fulci's directing? Did he, like, what, uh, what would he tell you to do on that sort of thing? It's, uh, you know of a director, when he talks to you, his security, what he really wants, what he wants from you, what he wants from the scene. So I, uh, I found him, very, he was only very creative through the whole movie. He would, instead of saying, no, don't, uh, don't dress him up like this, dress him up like that, then you will look at it in camera and you will really look good. It will look better, mm -hmm. and he will. A normal scene when anybody will shoot it normal, he will always make a creative thing through the scene. So I was very impressed with him, and uh, like I said, very happy to work with him. Mm -hmm. well, let me set a uh, kind of your thoughts in front of you. Then uh, the writer of the film, um, Jose Antonio de la Loma Jr. I think. Yes. Uh, did your experience, I guess, I don't know if you worked together on the film, but did that we were. I worked with him. I worked with Jose Antonio La Loma on uh, Counterforce and uh, other two or three films I made with this, with uh, Antonio de La Loma. Mm -hmm. Well, did they have anything to do with each other? Did you get hired because of your work in Counterforce? Well, I got hired because 
I worked with the Jose Antonio de la Loma before. Probably he recommended me with him and uh, with the producer, which he was Italian. And uh, from there on, I kept on going. Like I said, this is a chain, you know. Like I said, you know, he, he was, he always wanted more from the producer. I think he wanted two or three days more in Sardinia to make the story more full and grab it more and the producer didn't want to for some reason, he probably was very expensive. And uh, that's when I back him up. <laughs> I probably will never work for that producer again, but I was backing up Lucho, which I preferred to do a good movie with Lucho. Uh, what was his name? I don't know. He must be there in the, uh, in the tape. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm not about it. Curious, because I should know this. Um, oh, Giovanni Di Clemente. Giovanni Di Clemente. Yeah. Okay, so. He was kind of a young guy. Okay. Very, he used to dress up very nice. He always had a nice chick on his side. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Producer, yeah. <laughs> and then, um, um, yeah, I mean, did you, uh, what was your impression of the script the first time you read it? Well, like I said, I knew that, you know what happens when you work with a good director with a bad script, you know that he will always make it better. But if you have a good script with a bad director, he will always make it worse. So I knew I didn't have to stay so much on the script, I knew that he would make it better because I knew his work. So I said yes. And uh, uh, think, I mean, you've seen the film, uh, like, what do you think about the, uh, the outrageous uh, over-the-top gore and blood? In the film? Reason, remember, at the time it was not so much like that. At the time it was great. It was a big deal. All these things, it was new. Not new, but it was Kind of new, so uh, I liked it. I like, I really like Lucho, all his fantasies and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the film was more or less made. I'm assuming you know because Conan the Barbarian was such a huge. Yes. And uh, I don't know. Have you ever uh, have you ever like met Arnold Schwarzenegger or anything? And has it ever come up? Or? No, because at the time Schwarzenegger, well, he was doing some. He, he was different. Uh -huh. To work with Lucho was different than to do a movie like The Barbarian. The Barbarian was more a physical. He was showing his physical. This was not so much. It was physical, but not that much. Mm 